Hey everybody, it's Scott Wingo from Retail Gentic. I'm going to give you a live demo of ChatGPT5's instant checkout. So here I am on ChatGPT5. I am looking to buy a handmade Star Wars crochet baby Yoda, also known as Grogu, for my nephew's birthday. Uh, so this is a prompt. I put this in. It's going to search Amazon, Etsy, and some other site I couldn't catch. And it has found many baby Yodas. Now, this first one's from Etsy. And the first thing you'll notice over here is we now have a buy button. You'll also see a little information that says instant checkout. And when I hover over that, it says instant checkout helps you order directly from merchants in ChatGPT. Merchants may pay a fee when you buy, but it's free for you and your product recommendations are not affected. Merchant rankings consider checkout availability, seller type price, and inventory. There's a learn more, but we won't go into that. It also makes a LLM generated recommendation of why this baby Grogu. This one is Jumbo, so that's pretty interesting. You'll also see down here, it has the seller on Etsy, the shipping, and anything about returns or exchanges. Back over here, it was $9 shipping. This is a six inch, also on Etsy, and we're seeing the checkout. Then as I scroll, you'll see here's another one, yet another one. Oh, that one's got a little heart. Let's see. This one has a variation. Let's see what this does. Okay, so the variation has turned off the checkout. And then this last one is on eBay. And you can see here, we've now got a visit button instead of a buy button. Uh, the same for Sweet Fig Boutique. So, which is probably, maybe that's called, that could be a Shopify store. So when Shopify comes on, maybe something like that will show up in the buy category. I like this big one. I think it's a good price combination for a larger uh, stuffed animal. So I'm going to go do that. So I hit buy. And it has already linked my credit card because this is uh, something I've already bought from previously using Stripe's link capability, which is kind of like if you're on Shopify and it texts you, it kind of maps your credit card token to your phone number. Um, Stripe has a similar technology called Link that does that. So as it sees me come through, it's already familiar with who I am and now I have to enter my payment information. I go through, um, it's going to be 1275 uh, fully born with priority mail, um, which is actually different. Oh, $8 plus. Okay. And then I can get it by October 9th, which is well within my time frame. So you can see here, it's very clear Etsy. I'm paying Etsy, not chat GPT and not some other third party. I've got the third party seller up here at the top and my item is detailed and exact. If I click on the shipping, there is no no uh, faster way, but if this seller offered FedEx or UPS or something like that, um, I would be able to upgrade to expedited shipping, but this one doesn't happen to. Uh-oh, let's go back. Okay, so I am going to review that and hit pay, um, and then down here you can see I also have T's and C's, and then it very clearly says OpenAI does not process your order, collect payment, or handle fulfillment. So they're making it very clear that they're the marketplace operator in the middle um, and it's any issues you have are between you and the Etsy seller. Um, so I, I liked the messaging there. So we're going to, and then again, the button says pay Etsy. So I hit that talking to Etsy, still working. This feels a little agentic. It's uh, we'll discuss if this is agentic or not. Finalizing details and we're done. Um, so we have uh, confirmed your order and you'll get confirmation email from Etsy soon. So the order tracking um, is actually going to happen between me and Etsy. I do think eventually they're going to pull that up into ChatGPT, but for now it's going to be separate. And I can go in here and see the details and it shows up in my orders area, which we had previewed on uh, the sub stack that we had gotten uh, information that this was coming. So I can open it in ChatGPT or I can view it on Etsy. So this is, let's view it on Etsy. This will be interesting. I actually don't have my password in there. Uh, let's open it in ChatGPT. Okay, just back to here. Um, so that's it. So that is a uh, example of how we bought something on, uh, I've got my order number, which is kind of handy. Um, we bought something right on ChatGPT.
This is important because it does what we call collapsing the funnel. So, so you've probably had this experience on TikTok shops or something where someone's down the consideration set. If you can get them into a purchase funnel quickly, they will make that serendipitous purchase and you win the zero sum game. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll have more to come on this as it develops.